questions and answers. <clears throat> it's 3 a.m. here in New York. One question I get a lot <clears throat> is how many calories you eat in a day? Well, I don't count. I eat whatever I can when I can. Some days I don't eat much. Some days I don't eat. Some days I overeat. <clears throat> That's that. My style is atlasthenics. After years and years of doing calisthenics only, I saw the pros and cons. After doing years of weightlifting only, I saw the pros and cons. So a calisthenics athlete, they mastered their, their body weight, their internal power. But when it came time to moving something external, say an atlas stone, an immovable object, they're not too good at it. So that's the pros and cons. They're great at moving the body weight, not good, not too good at moving other weight other than the body weight. Then weightlifters, great at moving external weight, anything but them. They tend to be heavier. They don't do too well at moving their own body weight. So that's the pros and cons. Good at moving his um, external weight, um, hard to move himself. So after years, I didn't want these weaknesses wanted the strengths so I combined them and I added strongman strongman's like key to me it's key to get getting very well balanced and being an athlete and very very strong <clears throat> so I, I combined calisthenics powerlifting and strongman cool thing is with this style you pretty much pick one of the three you want to get damn good at and that will make up maybe 60% of your training. For me, it's strongman right now. I'm doing the strongman cycle. Strongman is what I'm doing. So strongman's the bulk. Powerlifting is the tool to increase the potential strength I have on strongman. And calisthenics, I'd be doing on rest days or a set here and there after my workout max out just to keep my <coughs> endurance, keep the speed, keep my body weight strength up while I'm getting heavier so to me it's unbeatable if you do it right so I, I people think I'm a power lifter but I'm not so when you see me deadlifting very 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 heavy that's to get a potentially stronger and bigger farmer walk farmer walks is king so eventually when you're doing farm walks you're gonna hit a plateau plateau is going to either be your grip being too weak it's not usually not my problem or you're not going to be able to lift the weight off the ground and the farmer walk won't even be done so the bigger your deadlift is the bigger potential your farmer walk is going to be which in in the end is going to make you much 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 stronger so then there's yoke walk bigger yoke the stronger you're going to get to get a big yoke you're going to need a bigger squat stronger back so i use squat as a tool to increase my yoke then the bench press is the one tool used to increase everything in pushing, any push. If your bench is bigger, all your pushes go up. Your dips, your overhead, everything push-wise you have a potential to be better at. Axle clean press, log press, so that's also a tool. And strongman and powerlifting, they're very, very, very taxing to the body. So when, on those days, when I'm dead, really dead, I'll pick one or two calisthenics exercises and do them all day throughout the day, grease the groove style, third work. So say, say I'm shot five days straight, Saturday comes and I'm beat, I'm gonna do calisthenics. It might be pull-ups, push-ups, supersets, 10 sets, that's it. That's gonna keep me going while instead of resting fully, it's gonna act as increasing in other areas. Calisthenics is not taxing on the body, you can do it daily. So I do that to keep where I would be weakening. Say I do strong and powerlifting only, calisthenics will go down. So I keep it around here and there. So I train every day, I train every day. For me to have a, a full rest day, it's very, very rare. So that's the style, atlasthenics. It's hard to text that. People say, what's your, what you, what's your routine? Don't have a routine, I have a style. It's atlasthenics. And I have a lot of my own invented sets, many, many sets to get stronger. I know how to get strong. So that's a whole other video on those sets I invented. And then a lot of other questions. What are your goals? What's your height, your weight? 
I fluctuate between 240 and 260 in that range. And let me go this way. Shortcut. Shortcut to nowhere. So I fluctuate, body weight fluctuates. And my height's 5'11", 6 foot. Not 100% on that. It's probably a little under 6 foot. And my goal body weight's 275. Thing. A lot of people ask my age, they tend to think I'm a lot older than I look, than I am, I mean, the fucking bird, what the fuck are you doing? Look at this bird. 